me as a, a, a big Star Wars guy. Uh, I'm a mo medium Star Wars guy. But yeah, I'm here. I, I, I watch them. Can you tell me if the Empire is fueled by coal or oil? Uh, it's probably not fueled by coal or oil. And I hope, we all hope that by 2050, uh, the United States is not either. That's what we all hope. Do you think there has to be a scientific approach to destroying the Death Star? Uh, well, that's the thing. This is for me as a storyteller or as a reader of stories, or a viewer of stories, wouldn't they have fixed that? And I don't want to, I want to enjoy the movie. The other thing that I always bugs me, that armor that we, the Storm guys wear, it's not very effective. It, I, I mean, it's, I've seen armor in museums and stuff. It's, it would be better. The old stuff would be better than what they have. I'd hate watching these movies with you. <laughs> oh, no, you got to get into it. That, but you started this thing. No, no. <laughs> No, it's a story about people, even if they've got rubber heads on stuff. It's a story about characters and people and and, uh, and your camera guys watching them. Uh, but it's fine. It's, so just go into it. It's, it's not a science movie. It's a, it's a story about the human condition, like Shakespeare or something. Yeah, carry on. Thank you. But what we want, on a, another note, there is enough wind energy, solar energy, tidal geothermal energy in the United States right now to power the whole place renewably without extraordinary storage technology, new batteries, if we just decided to do it. And so I say to everybody, I know we just had an exciting election, we could do this, it would create about three million new jobs from scratch that are not exportable. We could just do it if we decided to do it. I am not on the board of this organization or anything, but check out the solutionsproject.org. Carry on. Mr. Nye, thank you. Thank you. Five minutes.
for you tonight, though. No, I was going to say, so what happened? You, <laughs> you carried that segment, man. That was awesome. Right, Thank good, you. Good, good. Uh, so I, I, I guess this is one of the big perks uh, that, that goes along with being a mayor. Well, I'm probably the only person here that pays for my tickets because we like to abide by the law in the city. But uh, it is well worth every penny if I'm paying a little bit more than uh, opening night on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, you're too by the book. You're too by the book. Got to be. Got to be. But this is, you know, this is amazing. This is Hollywood Boulevard, but it feels like it could be someplace, you know, uh, on, in a Star Wars movie. Uh, this is the center of the filmmaking universe, but tonight it's like literally the center of the universe. Yeah, and the fact that, I mean, this is right now at one of the most popular intersections in all the world. I mean, Hollywood and Vine has always been known throughout the world. Um, Ten years ago you came here, it was a very different place. This place is resurgent, jobs are coming back, Hollywood has its sparkle, and this is a fitting place to have this premiere. Thanks, All right, Thank see you the next test. <laughs> Talking to you from the boat. Doug. I just want you to just tell me about your character and what it means to you to be a part of the Star Wars family. It is it is a dream come true for me. I mean, my character is called Cassian Andor. He's a captain. Uh, he's basically a spy for the rebellion. An amazing guy that learns that working working uh, as a team, like understanding that by complementing each other, you become stronger and more powerful. By leaving differences aside, uh, they they are capable of achieve whatever they want. It's a beautiful message to send these days, and I'm, I'm proud to be part of this. I've been following this film since I was six years old, so this is, this is a special night. Diego, thank you so much. All right, thank, you, thank you so much.
wasn't working, it is now. I, was, I have to restart it when it doesn't work. Now it is. Now we lost it again. The Dejero's gone. We gotta bring it down. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move.
quite the year for you. A hit HBO show and now the biggest film of the year. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I should probably quit now. I peaked. Most would call that a good career. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, that's the British person in me. Just seeing, just being real cynical about that. What about being a part of this now uh, obsessive fan base? I, I, I mean, how do you deal, or are you prepared to deal with what surrounds it? It's a privilege. Yeah, really, it's just an honor. And you realize that the Star Wars movies and the Star Wars story world and mythos has been kept alive by the fans. So it's, you re always realize you're at their service, really. And uh, I just cannot wait for them to see this movie. And I'm so intrigued as to what they'll make of it. Um, I, I really think they're going to like it. You know, I, I think there's enough in there that's familiar, but enough in there that's quite bold and fresh and distinctive that people will get on board. You saw it. I did, yeah, I saw it on my birthday at Skywalker Ranch, which was the ultimate birthday present. And we were all in stunned silence. I remember Kathy Kennedy and Gareth Edwards were asking us what we thought of it. And we just were all blank, having kind of, you know, trying to wrap our heads around this fact that we're in a Star Wars movie. Thank, Thank you. you, best of luck. Thank you. Oh, dude, it's it. from the film that I've not seen in, you know, in ages and he's like, oh my God, oh my God. This is your day, you don't have to apologize to me. No, it's, it's weird. It's very strange. So tell me about the pressure of taking over this franchise with an obsessive fan base. This is an obsessive fan base? Go figure. Is that what those guys, I thought they were just the cast members that hadn't got changed in time. It's like, oh my God. Some of these, some of these fans have Darth Vader tattooed on their forehead. I know, you know what I'm worried, like, the f I'm not sure if someone's done it yet, but the first Rogue One tattoo, you kind of feel like, oh, okay, that's brave. On my left cheek. Have you? Okay, well, maybe later. <laughs> After a few drinks. But what about, was, wasn't there a pressure taking this over? Yeah, there, there is, there is, of course there is, but there's also a very strange thing that happens as you get on set and there's an X-Wing and there's stormtroopers and you feel like you've gone back to that place of your childhood and it's kind of soothing. It's like, it's kind of, it feels more comfortable being in the world of Star Wars than it does in the real world in some way. And so it was strangely a lot of stress and then stress-free. It was kind of a mixed bag. Do you get offended when people call it Star Wars 3.5? No, because it should be Star Wars 3.9. Okay. We jokingly called it that for a while. Because it's before A New Hope. Yeah, it connects directly to the original Star Wars film, you know, which George ended up calling Episode 4 to make it really simple for everybody. And then he did the prequels, and now there's the sequels, whatever they are. And, and there's this is a, our movie is self-contained. You don't have to know any of that stuff, so... You're introduced to the characters for the first time as well. Yeah, I mean that was really important because you, if you basically if you use too many characters from the other films, you know they're going to be fine, right? You know they're going to make it into the other films. So we had to create our own original characters so that you genuinely worry about what's going to happen. And we had a phenomenal cast and phenomenal writers, and the I'm really proud of the characters. I mean, S Star Wars is famous for its character design and 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 performances and. And I think there's going to be a lot of new favorites, I hope, in this. Gareth, thank I you. appreciate it, man. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Did they, uh, did they next start? We can't get
was pretty nice oh, for today. Thank you. I like this. Yes, yeah, thank you. So, um, uh, just uh, you know, the world is now introduced to these characters for the first time. So, can you basically tell me about your character? Uh, as Kathy Kennedy, the chairman of Lucasfilm, described it, spiritual center of the mission. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> On the set, you guys were loosely referring to this as Star Wars 3.9. Explain that. The story is a connection is uh, from the New Hopes, and but really, I mean, you guys have to see it. See it. I don't want to really. I don't want to spoil the story. Did you see it? Oh, I saw it. What'd you think? It was great. I'm not gonna say not great. Anything less than that is not unacceptable. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. But how is he gonna ingest the sound bites? Oh, Michael Douglas. You want this? Uh, and there's a I don't need it. Tape, but, um, <laughs> but not taping the tape that would, would have. But it's ELA. You're quickly becoming one of my favorite actors. Oh, thank you very, very much. You let me know when that happens, though, if it happens. Let me know if it happens. To, 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 uh, to be one of my favorite actors? It's I mean, no, that's, 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 no, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, but thank you. And I think they did, did a good choice with introducing new characters with these faces that we've rec been recognizing from hit shows. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think that. Um, do you think you could do a look live? They they never, they what? They'll record it. No, no. They'll record it. They'll record it. After, after, after I guess, Ben, I'll do it. when that happens though if it happens let me know if it happens to, 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 uh, to be one of my favorite actors it's i mean no, that's, that's, that's that's no I, I don't i'm not i'm not but thank you and i think they did, did a good choice with introducing new characters with these faces that we've re been recognizing from hit shows yeah yeah well i think that um that we have a very very strong cast uh we have the most diverse cast of any of the star wars films we've got you know, we've got Donnie Yen and John Wei. We've got the biggest stars. I mean, they dwarf, um, you know, they dwarf stars in this country in terms of the size of their fan base, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we've got a pretty good cast, I think. Are you prepared for the fandom and all the events surrounding being part of this franchise? I am not prepared for the fandom or anything that follows. You always think you are? No. No, I don't think so. Until you meet the guy with the tor with the stormtrooper tattooed on his forehead, and that guy, I will salute. <laughs> ben, thank you. 
appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're good right now for what I can look like. Okay. Right now is good. Well, I may have to stop you, but okay, get ready. If you thought all it took was the force and the Death Star, if you, if you thought all it took was the force and Luke Skywalker, Skywalker to destroy the Death Star, I think here's. Hi, hi, man. Dango, how are you? Hi, hi. Star Wars here waiting for you. I got Star Wars here for you. It's called Star Wars. Are we feeding sots though? We're, you, they already have whatever sots we had. They have that. Uh, until it's transmitted. Uh, but just give me an indication. Like, what if, am I tossing the sots? Like, what am I doing? Am I, oh, oh, I thought you just do a look live, like, a, without any tape, just a minute of yourself. All right, I guess I'll just. In the early theater, guys. So, what are you going to do? Just take it off of me and go around? Yeah, I'll go. That's all I can do, really. Have a, now you can, now, now well, you have to wait now. now I, dude, this is, this is a good one. Me too. I really don't have much. Like, 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 like how am I going to do like a straight, like one minute look live when it's going in and out? Here. Do you have to call the No. 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 We've already talked about it. No. It's, it's not. It's. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. It's
in 1977 you would fast forward to now and they'd be closing down Hollywood Boulevard for this not for one second and uh, you know it, it it speaks to the the skill and the wonder and the imagination of George Lucas and all the people have taken over his his mantle and also to the absolute love of the fans who, who who've given it to to us to carry the torch and then they they support us all the way and it's not over yet you know here's the first standalone story who knows what's coming up personally I think a standalone movie of 3 pos private life, don't you think? Uh, but that leads me to ask you, I mean, has your voice changed over the years? Have you gotten like a little scared of, uh-oh, it doesn't sound like 3PO? Mm -hmm. um, well, let's try. Hello, 
I am Sweet Pretty, a human cyborg relation. <laughs> I do a lot of cartoons and things. Next uh, Thursday and Friday, I'm doing two things uh, for Disney. So I'm all, you know, it's kept me in work all these years. I'm hugely grateful. And so is Sweet Pretty. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's like an instrument, I guess, if you keep playing uh, it. Yeah, exactly that. Um, and because it's, it's, uh, it's slightly put on, I can get it right. Thank you for noticing. Like when she said, you didn't ask him what language is he going to speak. Isn't it over seven million languages? Yeah, I'm sure it's more than that now. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I just want to know, you know, accepting a role in this franchise, are you prepared for all that comes with the, s the fandom? I can't wait. <laughs> I am, um, I, I feel like I actually feel part of it, and I feel quite a fan myself. So, it's funny, even with the next Star Wars that's coming out next year, I'm sort of eagerly awaiting, and I, and I, I know, you know, I know a lot about it, but I still, I think that's what's so special about Star Wars, you're both, even when you're in it, you're still going, this is really awesome <laughs> at the same time. Felicity, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.